6,650 kilometers Nile River is the longest river in the world. 2,508 kilometers Murray River is the longest river in Australia. So how about Melbourne? Which waterway is the longest waterway that flows through Melbourne Metropolitan? I'm the superhero Clam from Clam Traff Vlog. Today in the second episode of Top 5 in Melbourne, I'll be sharing you the top 5 longest waterways that flow through Melbourne Metropolitan. Let's go! As one of the tributary of Yarra River, this 70 km creek begins somewhere around Wala North towards Digger's Fall at Yarra River. It flows through a volcano lava plain that erupted by Hayes Hill. A small scoria cone in Donny Brook erupted between 4.6 and 0.8 million years ago. This is mainly the reason why the creek is named as Mary. The word Mary was derived from an Aboriginal language, which means very rocky and very stony, to symbolize the volcanic history of the site. Mary Creek is an environmental, heritage, and recreation corridor that draws its significant influence. It was traditionally the location for large gatherings for the Urung Jering people. It was also believed Mary Creek was the location of the historical Batman Treaty signing between John Batman, the founder of Melbourne, and the Urung Jering elders in the 1830s. By riding on one of the highly rated trails in Melbourne, the Mary Creek Trail between Thomastown and Abbotsford. This roughly 21 km trail give you a good view of the lower reach of the creek. Most people living in Melbourne have no idea where is this Jackson Creek is located and who is this Jackson that the creek named after. By touching the northwest border of Melbourne Metropolitan, this 71 km water course sits on the fourth place for the longest waterways in Melbourne Metropolitan. It was named after early colonial settlers William Jackson and his brother Samuel who were the two of the founder of today's suburb, Sunbury. The creek arises from a number of small creeks in southern parts of Macedon Range, flows through the Kilo Bausa Lava Plain, passing through the towns of Bulingarok, Gispon, Reeders Creek, and suburb of Sunbury, Diggers Rest, Bula, and Kilo North. Eventually, the creek never reached Port Phillip Bay. It forms the Maribonong River at the west of Melbourne Airport with the confluence of Deep Creek. Emu Bottom is one of the most significant historical landmarks next to Jackson Creek. It is one of the oldest homesteads in Victoria built by George Evans, another founder of today's suburb of Sunbury. Arise at the north of Balan near Dillsford. This 110 km Verabee River claimed it the third place in the list of longest waterways in Melbourne Metropolitan. As a perennial river of Port Phillip Cashman, it flows across the third biggest volcano plains in the world. It flows through the Verabee Gorge State Park before being utilized for irrigation for Market Gardens at Beckish Marsh. It was also became the main water resources for the farm area in Verabee South and the township of Verabee during early settlement. Apparently, Verabee River was discovered earlier by the European settler than the founding of Melbourne. It was camped up by Home and Hover Expedition in 1824 and the settlement of Melbourne was only founded in 1835. The river was first known as Andil River after Thomas Andil, an English-born farmer, surgeon and magistrate who arrived in Australia via after Philip's first fleet. He was also the father-in-law of William Hover, who was also the co-leader of Hume and Hover Expedition. John Helderich, a member of John Batman's Port Phillip Association, rediscovered the river in 1835 and named it Verbi River after being told by a local Aboriginal that accompanied Rich that the river was known as Verbi Yalok. And in their Aboriginal meanings, Verbi means spine or backbone and Yalok means stream. A little known story about this river was the first recorded foot and mouth disease outbreak in Australia was at Cobodic Farm on Verbi River in 1872. It was a farm listed by Samuel Coburn in 1868 and 1899, which located at today's suburb of Mount Cotro in between Balan Road and Doherty Road. One of my favorite trails, roughly 15 km Verbi River trails, is located on the lower reach of the river between Tane and Verbi South. The historical main Alpha Silver Verbi River Aquada and the iconic Verbi Via can be found along the trail. Another watercourse in Port Phillip Cashman 
also touches the border of northwestern suburb of Melbourne Metropolitan. Formed by confluence of a number of smaller streams draining the northeastern slope of Macedonian Range and the southern slopes of Cobalt Range, this 128 km creek flows through Darawigwim towards Bula and reaches its confluence with Jackson Creek and forms the Maribonong River. The creek was originally considered as the extension of Maribonong River. The name Deep Creek may refer to the deep valley the water course has cut through the plains north of Melbourne or the deep pools which have formed in the riverbed. As the most well-known river in Melbourne, the longest waterway which flows through Melbourne Metropolitan, historically known as Biralong by the Aboriginal. The lower reach of the river is where the establishment of Melbourne began in 1835. It has been a major food source and a meeting place for the indigenous Australian for thousand years. Acting Lieutenant Charles Robbins and Acting Surveyor General of New South Wales, Charles Grubbs, was the first European to discover this iconic river in 1803. It was named in 1835 by John Helderich, the person who named the Verwee River. He mistakenly believed Yara was the name of the river in the Bong Worong language. Both Yara and Birarong were derived from the Aboriginal language, meant waterfall and ever flows respectively. From its source in Yara Range, it flows west through the Yara Valley and winds its way through Greater Melbourne before emptying into Hobson Bay. With its rich historical value, Yarra River today is the home of Enterprise Park, the location where one of the founders of Melbourne, John Pascoe Faulkner, first stepped foot on Melbourne in 1835. Warrandyte Gold Mine, the second gold discovered in Victoria in 1851. Flinders Street Station, the first steam railway station built in Melbourne in 1854. Hawthorne Bridge, the oldest extent bridge over the Yarra River and is one of the oldest metal bridge in Australia built in 1861. Westgate Bridge, the tallest bridge in Victoria, built in 1978. Collingwood Children's Farm, oldest children's farm in Australia, started operating in 1979. And other significant historical landmark. Like I mentioned earlier, the best way to see most part of a river is by cycling. Main Yarra Trail, a roughly 38 km trail between Temple Stove and Melbourne CBD, gives you heaps of amazing view and wonderful experience. Alright, that's it for this episode regarding the top 5 longest waterways which runs through Melbourne Metropolitan. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to click the like, subscribe my channel and share it to everyone. Please kindly leave a comment if you have some feedback for me. I'm Clem from Clem Traff Log. We are superhero. See you on my next episode. Goodbye. Bye.